No, that's the swamp forest. Forest forest. Well, you know what? If I'm gonna keep appearing there, why don't we just do that, huh? Why don't we just do that right now? Funny. Mm. Man, I just got myself stuck. This is gonna happen a lot. Uh, I'm gonna do it like that. Really? Interesting. How about this tree? Okay. Can't remove the flower. There's nothing. But I can remove the tree. At the very least. Happiness is found. Alright, nothing in that corner. Uh, there's the other corner, which even has an up. And there is just a, a hole in the map, too. Or bear. <laughs> All right. Uh... <laughs> Great poem. Uh... Okay, so you're going through random.org amount of text. Well, it looks like we went through the interesting text. Uh, nothing here. Don't do that. I'm not sure how I would get him there. Hey. Okay. Alright. That's true. The truth hurts because it's true. All right, well, all right, eh, nothing. All right, well, now I know. Uh, something there, gonna spook this bunny who's gonna run right through me. What a fool. Obvious spot, here we go. Uh, leads to frog and then like leads up through the map. Okay, okay, okay. Didn't expect to, like, develop into frog zone, frog country. Of course, I need to go even higher. And uh, there is lit zone. All right. That is the upper realm of the swamp forest. Welcome to a little pleasant place with rocks and stuff. And yeah, and I did go into that corner already. I know it is not interested. Well, none of this is being documented. Like, none of this is staying on my map. Uh, none of this is leading to anything at all, in fact. <laughs> what? Uh, this I haven't been to, and there's nothing there. Maybe you need to get rid of the bats and... Maybe. Hey, there could also just be a higher area where nothing really happens. I mean, this looks like it could be a path. Okay, the enemies are just returning, so it's not... So it's not killing. This is odd. Nothing new there. I'm kind of ignoring the bats. Yeah, no, see, this is just glitch space. Weird. Yeah, so you got this upper area. That has nothing in it. As far as I can tell. As far as I can tell, there's just nothing there. I don't know why it's there. But it is. Okay, this side is... Uh, why does this go further to the side here then? That's also pretty strange. Just gonna go ahead and say it. Yeah, that loops back. So here we have just a double wide of potential 
spaces you could venture into. All right. No. We all need our blank spaces. There's the woods. Have fun. It's gonna be glitch. Still glitch. So downwards, it's all glitch. So once again, I found nothing. Oh, this is new. I missed this somehow. I somehow didn't go into the corner. There's a little bunny. Let's go say hello. I do not have free movement. I cannot interact with the bunny. Well, also, I can't do anything from here. I need to get here from the other side or the bottom. Sure is a bunny. If I walk the words at or walk backward or do any kind of input. Okay. okay so I knew you wouldn't just have like this whole region here to do nothing. But yeah, my mistake is I was like, oh, but there's no way up there. But no, I think. Yeah, you go up through the canopy. And then. And then there's this little guy. If I press any buttons, looks like the bunny, like some things. So let's see what it's trying to do. This is feeling like one of those explicitly like anti-gamer moments where yeah, like, like, like you know you just kind of like need to wait this out like the whole point is to waste your time because i know that if i press anything the bunny hops back but here it's clearly doing something it's walking across the screen wow unbelievable And one of the gates just opened. That's just one. And now the bunny isn't moving anymore. I can't like wedge myself in there. But like the but the bunny stopped. Still clicking, but it stopped moving. Like, what does that mean? See, like, I I want to... Can I pause? I can pause, that doesn't affect anything. Like, I know that pressing anything will make the bunny go away. So I'm de... It's like I'm... I kind of don't want to explore. Okay, I'm gonna give it like a few minutes. I wanna... My theory... My theory at this point. So, the bunny can slowly creep to that spot and it hits a switch and a gate goes down. I think that's the game telling you that no, yeah, see, if you let it happen, it's gonna go. But that's a preview where for the second gate, they're gonna make you wait a longer amount of time. It just inched! I think- I think that's it. They're doing a braid. A braid moment. Um... Of course, there's no real way to test this other than just 
waiting it out. Uh, all right, I guess that's happening maybe. I don't really know like what to expect or how long to expect. Oh no, all right, I mean, if it just happens, I just have to wait. I, that's fine, I can... There are some things I can do to pass the time while this is going on. Okay, it just nudged here. So just so we're clear, right now I'm sitting at recording time, 35 minutes. Now, exactly. Uh... I'm not sure, like, at what point of the recording I found this place, but I just thought it'd be good to know now. I mean, I could be wrong, too, and the fact that it's nudging forward... No, like, like... The makers of the game know how to make a sprite stop moving in a place. This... No, no, the clues are there. The information is there. Oh, you couldn't jump. Press that by accident. <laughs> I'm just uh, gonna put myself something to watch. Why not? Hey, I'm back. Yeah, so I figured I'd just pop in right now. We are now at 98 minutes and 22 seconds of recording. Uh, this is where the bunny is. <laughs> Moving steadily. Yeah, this is entirely passive. You don't need to do anything or anything. Um, all you do need to make sure, I think, that the window is... Uh, like, the game itself has priority. But otherwise, like, I just spent the last... A while, just... I, like, I was watching Eldad on stream, like, on Twitch.tv. <laughs> like, uh... And it kind of made me realize that, like, this is sort of a classic, sort of, like, game prank of sorts. Like, a classic example of anti-gaming. Except I feel like it might- it doesn't really work that well anymore in this modern era, where entertainment is everywhere and easy to access through multiple venues. Like, I got a two-windows PC set up. I just had Anodyne running on one screen, and I had Twitch on the other one, and no problem. <laughs> so, like, it's- I, I feel like it's a- it's a, yeah, it's an anti-game that just doesn't quite... work... quite as well anymore in 2024, and it has not for, like, a few years. Which is interesting, but yeah, it was- since this is entirely passive, I was just, I was, you know, watching, I had lunch, I have ended lunch, and this is when I decided to pop in. I actually closed the X story for a hot minute. Uh, I know this was a gamble because something could have happened at any time, but considering I also left my room to head to the kitchen to make myself lunch, uh, I was gambling one way or another. But yeah, it's like, I mean, if you know about this ahead of time, it's, it'd be even easier to sort of like prep your time. All you need is a set amount of time and off you go. Um, so yeah, we've just crest the 100 minutes. Yeah, I got a separate timer. That's not the recording software. And so uh, that's how I know. But um, that this has been running. I don't know, like, I didn't math out, like, how much time is it per nudge forward. But, yeah, now that we're, we're about one tile left, so... I figured I should probably be ready for whatever. I'm not even holding my controller, you know, because I wouldn't want to press a button by accident or anything. Man, I can't imagine this modern era with, like, gyro controls and whatnot, how easy it could have been to just, like, accidentally do a thing. It's resting on my table, on my desk right now. My controller. I can still press a jump button. Wow. It's 
See, the insidious versions of these are those where at key moment you need to do like a very slight, extremely easy to do adjustment. But adjustment nonetheless. This one is pure passive. That bunny is struggling. But if we try to help, it'll find a lot of energy to move a lot faster, so just not where we want it to go. One of <clears throat> almost 108 minutes of recording. I mean, and remember, this includes, like, you know, me doing everything else I did today. So it's not just the waiting part, but, you know, just to give us an idea. 108 minutes of recording, and the bunny is halfway through Homer Semstering himself through the bush. So here's a fun thought. What is the goal of the bunny? Um, I'm honestly a little bit surprised that it's actually shoving itself in the bush. I thought that it would reach the end, then like move down, like go all the way down the lake part, then go back to the left, walk up to the gate, and then would touch the gate and it would close. Uh, but now it's going through, like, like I said, like it's going into the border tile. So I wonder what the actual goal is. Maybe it'll go through that line and then reappear in the bottom line, and it'll make its way to the chest that way. Which means this would take like all afternoon if it if it doesn't like this pick pick the speed up, which is fine. Like if basically I want to see what happens beyond whatever tile the bunny is going into. And, uh, after that I'll probably turn the recording off again and just let this run and check back in later. I hope it's not all day because, like I said, this does need to stay in the foreground so, like, I can't really edit video or, like, do actual work. I can entertain myself all I want, but I cannot work. So it looks like it's like a minute and a half between each like little pixel nudge, assuming I didn't miss any. And assuming the time is con consistent, which I don't know if it is. The more I look at <laughs> this bunny's walk cycle and the less sense it's making. <laughs> what is actually happening? Like, how is it moving? Alright, uh, we are now 118 minutes and 33 seconds. Uh, uh, my attention was away for a moment, but I come back and... Uh, the bunny looks to be firmly contained within the bush tile. I'm still inconclusive on what is going to happen. This also could also be wrong, but I feel like the clue where halfway through the path it... It, it opens up the first gate. Like, I feel like that's meaningful. Oh, if it's really just halfway through, maybe it is just like a straight line. In which case, it would be close to be done. We just hit the two hours. Of, I guess I can't say recording because I did turn it off for a while. But I, two hours of this game being open. <laughs> Um, not really meaningful in terms of progress of this little critter, but, you know, it's a milestone. There's a world where this is the first thing I did in a session, and that is the only thing that gets done in that session. I mean, depending on how time works out, I might have to split this into its own. Like, the vast, vast, vast majority of this is getting edited out. But there's still kind of a lot of little bits and pieces I want to include, so... Uh... Not quite. The bunny's nose is almost rubbing against the side of the... Well, I don't know if it's... if the screen has a border or not. Like, the actual window. PC window. Okay, I just saw it. Now that nose is rubbing against the very, very edge of the screen. 
either now is when it's gonna turn around or it's gonna keep going off screen. And that's what I want to know about. Like, is it gonna start another lap? Is that the end? Uh, I feel like those are the two most plausible answers and both have very different repercussions on what the rest of my day is. Oh, it looks so weird without the muzzle. Well, it looks like an even more minimal... Sprightly bunny. But it's clear to me now that it will not turn. It will keep going straight forward. Either reappearing in a different line, or on the same line, or uh, just leaving entirely. I'm hoping for the leaving entirely, which will then open the gate. Is my... My... It, it's what makes the most sense to me. I feel like this is a helpful reminder that video games should be left to professionals. There's a reason why there's a warning label under every single piece of footage. So I kind of want to get myself something to drink, but I just saw this rabbit's face get engulfed by the border and... No, I want to be there if or if if something happens. Not quite half the sprite has disappeared. We're at 127 minutes and 50 seconds. I have not shaken off, in fact, the fear that this is not at all what you're supposed to do, and I am just spending an inordinate amount of time uh, observing a bug happen. That is meaningless. That could be a thing! I hope not. It's nice that the game has a system in place where if you're going for 100%, you will not be able to ask for a refund on Steam. One thirty-one minute and 42 seconds of recording. I just saw the sprite nudge itself there where it has become essentially unrecognizable. And my fear that I am wrong, and that I am doing this for absolutely no reason, is growing. One thirty-three. All that is left is backside, ear, and a weird flashing pixel that doesn't seem even colored like the bunny. I don't know what that is. Somewhere between 135 and 140, I feel like the bunny will have completely disappeared. One thirty-four? Uh we don't even have a backside, we just have like Yeah, it's just last pixels of the back ear. Like four pixels wide, maybe? Two pixels of cyan, one pixel of blue and one of black, like a border. The outline. I'm gonna be real. Like, I, I, I've, I've enumerated my readings on possible outcomes of this, but I am not ready for... And then nothing happens. Still got a little bit of blue, just like the the last pixel there at 135.49. My wow, my estimate was pretty good. I mean, I gave myself a whole five minutes. So like, when these pixels disappear, I hope that the kicking stops and the gate opens. Please, oh please, oh please. Disappeared entirely. It is gone. 137.05. The ticking is still ticking. The gate is still there. <sighs> Wait for another unit of time. Now I can see 
the tiny little thing flashing. Pixels are still on screen, technically. I don't see it anymore. I think it's actually fully gone now. Was I wrong? I'm not seeing the flashing pixel, there's just nothing. Oh no, what? What do I do? Okay, so there was like one more time unit of being completely off screen, just enough to make me like super freak out. Oh my god, hey, oh boy, finally I get green. Hell yeah, green! Hell yeah, green! This is where the bunny went. Bunny's back. But the gates stay open. The time is different. Like, the sound effect is different. Oh, I was so afraid. Alright, you know, before I do anything, we're just gonna save. Then we're gonna return to Nexus. And then we're gonna save again. I'm gonna save on a save point. Where am I? Who knows? I don't know nothing. Oh, I... I'm... I was real worried for a moment. I was like genuinely real worried for a hot minute. 